Sergio Perez's captivating Monaco Grand Prix victory broke plenty of records as he crossed the line to finish a shortened Grand Prix. With his third career win, Perez becomes the most successful Mexican driver in Formula 1 history and also the first Mexican to win the Monaco Grand Prix. On a weekend in which he wore a tribute helmet to Mexico's most successful F1 driver Pedro Rodriguez, it was an emotional race for Sergio Perez on many different fronts, both personally and professionally. But more importantly than the personal achievements, Perez's triumph in Monaco has thrown another twist into this thrilling 2022 championship picture. A much improved Perez this season has put him within touching distance of the title lead and the Mexican is showing his team that he's no number two driver anymore. So before we dive deeper into this video, we'd like to take a second to thank you for your support and ask that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. As Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen have stolen the headlines this season in their fight for the title, recent struggles from Ferrari and reliability issues for Verstappen have opened the door for another driver to get into the championship mix. Following the events of the Monaco Grand Prix, Max Verstappen extended his title lead over Leclerc to 9 points, but in the rearview mirror of both drivers, the number 11 of Sergio Perez is very close behind. Checo Perez now sits third in the driver's standings, 6 points adrift of Leclerc, and only 15 points back of his teammate. Interestingly enough, had Red Bull not instituted team orders in Barcelona, Checo Perez would be only one point back of Verstappen for the championship lead and ahead of the Ferrari of Leclerc. The championship picture has recently been blown wide open and has now created a problem for Red Bull that they haven't had in over a decade. With both of their drivers fighting for the title, Christian Horner will have his hands full in the coming races, managing team priorities, but he's adamant that both drivers will have an equal chance at this year's title. Quote, It doesn't matter to us which of the two is the world champion, he said. Of course the constructors is enormously important, but whether it's Max or Checo, they're both Red Bull drivers. They both got the same chance. Time will tell whether the Red Bull drivers will get equal treatment throughout the season, but Perez showed in Monaco that he's more than just a team player and that he himself is capable of being the formidable driver he always insisted he was. Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in just a moment. I'd just like to say a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, NordVPN. Now, if you don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network that protects your internet connection and privacy online by hiding your IP address and allows you to browse the web safely if you're accessing public Wi-Fi. We use it all the time here at the Backmarkers F1 show when I'm looking for the latest news about F1 from around the world and I can't access it because of my location. With one click, boom, I'm connected either on my Android or PC and I'm racing through the web no problem. And you guys that watch F1 will know that you need a good VPN to be able to access F1 from anywhere around the world. So if F1 content is blocked in your area, you can use NordVPN's over 5,400 servers in 60 plus countries to watch the 2022 season. So check the pinned comment in this video or in the description box below to get an exclusive NordVPN deal with us at nordvpn.com forward slash backmarkers. So check out NordVPN guys, all the info in the description box below. And now let's get back to the video. Perez still has plenty of work to do in order to get on Verstappen's level week in and week out. But the Mexican has already made a step forward in 2022 that is allowing him to be competitive against his once untouchable teammate. This year's Monaco Grand Prix was the first weekend since 2018 in which Verstappen was outperformed by a teammate on merit alone, both in qualifying and the race. He outqualified Verstappen for the second time this year in Monaco and when you look at the gaps between the two in six sessions this year, it's been much closer than you might think. It shows the improvements the Mexican has made in 2022, and that is allowing him to genuinely have a shot at this year's championship. But being Max Verstappen's teammate hasn't been an easy role in Formula 1, so what are Checo's realistic chances of winning it all in 2022? Some might say Perez has benefited from his teammates' reliability issues, and although that's partly true, it doesn't tell the whole story. 
Perez has had his fair share of hard luck as well, losing out on a podium in Bahrain, a victory in Jeddah due to an untimely safety car, and maybe even a win in Spain because of team orders. Had a few of those results gone the Mexicans' way, it's not hard to imagine Perez being the current championship leader with the run of form that he's on. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner acknowledged his driver's great drive after his win in Monte Carlo, saying that he's in the form of his life. This is certainly good news for the team, who now enjoy a 36-point lead over Ferrari in the Constructors' Championship, but things should get very interesting at Red Bull as we head into the summer. Sergio Perez has played a crucial role in his teammates' success last year and for Red Bull overall since he joined the team back in 2021. But the 2022 Monaco Grand Prix was an important statement from Checo that he's not just another Red Bull number two. His latest victory in F1 doesn't feel like a one-off, but more like a sign of things to come if he maintains his current form. At the start of this year, we look poised for a straight fight between Leclerc and Verstappen, but now a Mexican twist has been added to the picture, which should make things very exciting. How hard will Perez be willing to fight Verstappen on track, and will that lead to internal turmoil in the team? Regardless of what happens in the future, Sunday's race in Monaco was a well-deserved victory for a driver who has worked tirelessly to get to the top of F1. Not too long ago, we were preparing to say goodbye to Sergio Perez in Formula 1, and now, he's knocking on the door of F1 Championship leader. So what did you think of Perez's Monaco Grand Prix victory, and what are his realistic chances of becoming champion this season? Let us know in the comment section down below, and if you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and support the BMF1 show in any way that you can. Thank you for watching.